Welcome to Ita Panda. My name is Daniel. We have put together an exciting video for you. The video is free. It was recorded during one of our live online art classes. It's to give you a sense of what it's like to take part in one of our classes. Um, this class was focusing on drawing a tiger using the media of charcoal. It's a very exciting media and we hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to download your free ebook and we hope to see you at one of our live online art classes. So this is just going to be our box. Twenty two. So, nice and easy so far, perfect, but anyway, as long as it's a box, so 22.19. Um, I do the, the usual trick to be able to do an X to be able to help create a circle, so we're all working to the same size. So in your, um, in your rectangle, we need to work out where we want our head and it's, it's, it's not much gap uh, space around his head so I probably want to start it about here so I'm just going to do a line that is 11 centimeters so that's 11 centimeters I will put it up on the screen as well so if you've <laughs> fallen behind um, and then divide that in half, so that's five and a half. And the same principle, the other side. Going across, sorry. So that's also. Oh no, it's five and a half, sorry. I put five. So we kind of got an X, then we'll just do our circle from there. So we've done this a few times now, so this should still be okay. help keep his head like I said uh, to to make sure that it's gonna rem resemble some sort of tiger um, and then from this point we just need to do like a, a squash uh, circle of some sort I'm not really gonna go with a size um, and, and this is what I want to show you. This is probably where it's going to get com complicated if I explain that. We need to create two lines, which this is where the eyes are going to fall into from all here. So from this line going across in your X, I'm going to measure half a centimetre from this line and a centimetre from this line. So this is half, this is one centimetre. Uh, and I'm going to create those lines. So we should have one, two, three lines now. It doesn't matter if you haven't got it quite right. Um, as long as the bottom one is, is smaller, obviously. So yeah. 
but this X is gonna play a role in working in sections of the tiger or help you to plan your tiger when it comes when it comes to like I said the next stage when you you draw on him but you just want to put on the patterns and other details um, right okay and then from this these two lines we just added we need to do the second one up so this one uh, the one we did which was uh, half a centimeter we need to mark out uh, a four centimeter line but we're going to divide it into two using this line so two centimeters each side Yeah? Yeah. And moving up to this line, it's the one above it, it's going to be five centimeters, so we've got to break it into, divide it into two, so it'll make be two and a half, won't it? So it's two and a half. Two and a half. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then moving from the bottom, from the bottom bit of our X uh, line that we did to do this X, from there, it's going to be another marking point, which is going to be one and a half meters. And then we're just going to use this mark. Now, just to draw a line going across our circle, because we're going to try and create a, a triangle now within our within well, some a part of a triangle within our drawing. So then, another line coming from that point, hitting our little mark, and then coming off to this point. And then when you've done that, we're just next door to this line we just done here, because this is going to be the edge of his uh, edge of his eye. So it's going to be that sharp line is going to be this and this bit here. Uh, so we're going to draw next door to that line two circles touching the top line and the bottom line, the two lines we did above original X. Like this, we wanna, the speed's gonna represent his nose, so we're gonna need it reasonably. Almost sort of like a 90 degree angle, isn't it? But more than maybe even. Yeah, yeah. but you can see it there, can't you? The, the yeah. image you can see what um, I haven't measured it, so mm. it's just down to you guys to work it out. Um, so now we've got the nose. What we need to work on is the side of his head. So we're going to use the circle. This is where it's good. If you look at this image, you probably can't see it that greatly but I can see when you when I was originally trying to go freehand and drawing it he kept looking like a bear when you're just doing a rough outline around the head because he's got such a, mm. a big head but actually this is just mainly fur all this around here you can sort of see this definition mm. here there's like a, yeah. a, a roundish shape yeah. here and here so when if you went freehand, you, I was pretty sure most people were going to go, it looks like a bear, it doesn't look... So we're going to use the circle to help guide us to where all this is going to be. Um, yeah, so 
but so what we'll need to do is using our circle is to connect a line you can sort of see how steep if we, if we break his head into sharp angles you can sort of see how steep they are so meaning uh, probably it's up to your judgment on the side of your circle I'm just going to draw a line there oh, so it's creating space for myself I'm running out of space and I might make it just a little bit longer. Then we're going to use part of the circle by. Uh, I made my line come slightly below the top of my circle um, because I want to create some sort of curve to it. So I'm going to create. You see what I mean? I'm connecting the top of the circle to those two lines. And you can sort of see he's almost got like a, a, a point on top of his head if you divide it in half. It's like almost two straight lines, almost, but it, obviously it, it isn't. I'm mean, trying to show here. This is going to be down to your judgment. It's kind of like a swooping line that comes down and then comes in almost, except I'm not going to put sharp lines because it's all all curved for the side of his head his his I guess you call it a mane is it a mane or whatever mm. you call it yeah I will sort of do something the same but I'm going to create a line that just goes all the way down to which is part of his leg as well so it's kind of a gentle swervy line a curved line <coughs> what is left is his ears which you can sort of see if you do break him into angles and straight lines is kind of just literally sitting on those two straight lines we're doing um, I have noticed when you put a root let me demonstrate if I put a ruler just above his line eyes or draw a line you, oh, you can't really see it that well but you can see his ears start above his his eyes if you can see so yeah. you can use what we've done here, you can, you know, this line here, you can use that to help you. Um, but his ears are kind of, you can build them up out of boxes and lines until you get the shape you want. Obviously, you adjust it so it looks better, but you can see what I'm doing there, just like boxes. Um, and it's kind of just to show to you guys, it's kind of if you do break it into rectangles, so let's say this is a rectangle which you've taken a few corners off the top here. There's also like a mini rectangle here, it's like a shape there, mm -hmm. and there's a shape there as well, if you see. So it's like one big rectangle and a tiny rectangle on the side of it. Um, so we we'll just need to finish off his mouth basically um, and well, once I put you're gonna have to just adjust it slightly when I put the reference image up so you can see it much clear um, uh, in a, a clear way but just draw some like curved lines that attach to the bottom half of you know the bottom half of his um, he's kind of got like a, a V shape here, an upside down V shape, which is uh, where there's an opening to his to his mouth. So that's what we just basically need to do is just draw um, like a V shape. Let me just clear that up so you can see it. Um, so that's my original circle. That's my other one. So just like uh, I'll, I'll put, I'll bring in the pit. Oh, you can see it. it um, I move my hand out of the way so you can see it um, clearly, like a V shape, and then a line that goes across 
which is going to be his opening. Uh, what we can do is just finish off the nose, which is kind of, I don't know how to describe it, but it's kind of uh, rounded corners. It's got a flat bit in the middle and then it curves round again. Like, uh, like it's two circles connected with a line between almost. Then obviously he has a like a rectangle of some sort for his back, and then you can play about with it when we get to that stage. The sides now, which is just kind of a, a line that just curves round at the top for his um, top part of his uh, shoulder, and it just curves out again. Twill another line it just kind of just under his mouth just slightly got a gentle curve at the top and this comes crashing down to the bottom of the rectangle and that's going to be part of this leg here if you see there's like a bunch of fur mm -hmm. that's indicating there's a leg, arm, whatever you want to call it. Some indication that there's some sort of stuff happening around his mane. I think he's got quite a bit going on. He's got a sharp point there and I think there's one of you, you probably see it clearly when I put it on, the, put it on your screen. And there's, there's basically different shapes going on. So it's, bit, it's not as defined as this side here. So, but it looks like it comes doing lines, kind of goes off from the point. Um, point and just goes up here. It's just some sort of indication so you know what you're doing when you um, start to colour it. Mm. Uh, use the charcoal and there's like a, another flaring bit around here as well. Um, other bit of hair that does this kind of shape as well. Do a bunch of lines and one last thing is to draw a line for his back yeah um, yeah so mm -hmm. the reason why he's looking like a bear as well um, he's kind of got a nose within a nose he's kind of got like this section here looks like it's almost a nose and then he's got these two mm -hmm. round parts of his mouth underneath so we just need to indicate it because this is going to happen when you come to use your charcoal you're just going to shade all this section here to show that the shape things going around but just for your um you know for your reference you can just draw roughly how you want it to to look and it and it will work let me show you um, you can sort of see it adding shading around here. So we got to the point where we just got all our guidelines. So what I will do is I'll leave you guys to do it in a set, but I just want to show you. Oh, this going back to the circle. Um, use it to help you to do, I, I used it to do these few patterns here, in here mm -hmm. with stripes and here, mm -hmm. and a bit of shading to show there's like a, a circle uh, shape within his head. So I just wanna kind of keep this bit, um, mm -hmm. something, this bit here, but obviously you're not, you're just gonna do that when it, with the charcoal mm -hmm. when it comes to to the shading bit already, but when I added this on, it's, a, it's looking a bit more like a mm. a cat than a, a bear. Um, um, also, if you just want to watch before I change, so you can sort of see I'm using this a shape that goes around his or well, her eyes, and you can use these lines to help you as a guideline. 
is use this line here to help you create symmetry. Um, for example, by marking out your um, different shapes and they all seem to attach the ones on his head attach, attach to like a, a line that perfectly divides its head in, into two which is this line so you can use that line to help you to do that and that should help you keep some sort of symmetry it's it's it doesn't matter if it's it doesn't need to be perfect so you don't need to make it like a uh, exact but i just wanted to show you um the benefits of using that line before you rub it out or mm -hmm. do anything else to it um what else can i say um and then yeah you just go back and play about with it you just then use the reference image and just change some of the shapes mm -hmm. um soften any lines get rid of any lines you don't want obviously i don't need these lines uh these lines anymore What I would suggest is obviously the background is just the background. It, it, it goes dips in and out, so it's up to you if you wanted to do that. But of my one, I just created a solid black background. But if you wanted to do dark shapes, let me demonstrate. Let me grab a. Well, actually, let me use this quickly. So you can just do uh, draw what you want, leave what is light, and then. Yeah. Stick to blend it. Oh, yeah, that's clever. Blend it in. So you've got the lighter patches, yeah. Uh, um, so, but for the fur, you can. What I find works quite well is using this for a um, earbud. You can just. By doing like little flicky motions, you can create hair like texture yeah. uh, <clears throat> um, so this has been my friend it's been the main pencil really and and then when you want you can either use your uh, pencil or whatever you have the stripes um, and just create this flick and if you lift some of it and you want to bring it you know make it dark again just add it back in and you can sort of see I'm, by it being here I'm trying to um, I want some kind of flow um, let me demonstrate around his mouth so it starts off flowing this direction and it meets and then moves around so by simply using the white of your paper as well it's going to help you because it will show off the you can create these illusion that there is um hair of some sort 
uh, obviously on his nose it's very fine fine hair so you don't really need to try and do strokes but you can do um, shading still and still keep some movement you can sort of see there's around here there's movement so I'm just trying to follow the eye connecting to the nose like around here and um, so what I would do is just play about with your hair and then come to do your stripes last maybe otherwise you're just gonna keep rubbing away at your your stripes and some parts mm. and then you you keep coming back to add chart unless that's what you want to do that's fine unless you just want to you know doll it down mm. in some parts um, um, and and just well, you know draw your stripes and just try to do a few flicks through it and then add on the charcoal afterwards that's fine and what else can I suggest here so I talked to you about the background just just all I can suggest if you want a more realistic look is just think of the direction of the fur and just build it up by doing these strokes and then just be patient and just add more and more charcoal on top um, and then if when it comes to the either graphite pencils or your charcoal pencils you can draw the more precise details such as your eye using them um, but I think these still can work quite well it's just they've got a, a more of a not a less of a point so it may be a bit challenged in trying to get the minor details in but it still works mm. go back with your pencil and just kind of work out what shapes you want in it you can sort of see there's black coming through here and there shapes as a guideline to help me uh, and already it kind of makes it feel like there's something going on there and then just a few lines to give me an idea of direction of, of hair and there's a bit of shape that happens so when once you are happy with these shapes then you can start adding uh, either a pencil or something or you can create draw lines flowing the direction you want so you're kind of like almost drawing but not quite uh, and then you can just use this to you know blur it and it's kind of a bit blurred around this bit and you come back to sharpen up some of these shapes
when you find me to rubber, which is basically like blue tack, where you can take bits off and mold into shapes, where then you can use to create whiskers in your drawing by doing this. It's got whiskers. And just keep remolding it, but still, you still get a nice effect. As you can see, do your using the reference image, just the whiskers as um, as you can see in the image, which is going this way, uh, and slowly move around. There we go. They're not very uniformed as such. Don't worry if it's not perfect, you can sort of see it. I'm not too... I can keep going with this drawing, um, but I think I'll finally call it a day. Hopefully you learned something from this and would be able to push your skills a little bit more, discover um, a lot more detail into it than I have um, as I quickly try to complete this um, for the video. Um, yeah, and I hope you give it a go and you enjoy it.